Hey everybody, today is day 17 of my 30 day self challenge of showing off my hobbies and my random things I like to do with my time. So on today I figure I would actually show you guys how I like to change the color and finish of my copper bracelets and actually uh, along with that the coating I use because I found out that uh, after I change the uh, coating on the copper before it oxidizes it's a nice idea to add Rust-Oleum's Rust Inhibitor. This actually worked out extremely well and the finish is really nice even on your skin. And I actually had my wife who's allergic to latex and peanuts and all kinds of other craziness including metal actually wear one of the bracelets that I uh, tried this with for about three days or so and she didn't develop a rash, no green color on her skin. So uh, overall I'd say I am sold on this stuff. Uh, I've also used it on my tools after I've sandblasted them, and that finish was pretty amazing as well. So, overall, highly recommend it, and that's what will be on today's video. Alright, got my bracelet set up, got my propane ready. Let's change the color. And from my understanding on this is that uh, you can get this up to a certain temperature and however quick you cool it is how the different colors occur. I've only been able to get it to have like a lightish blue color so far. But it definitely is different than you know, your typical um, copper color I guess you could say. <laughs> Orange is copper. So you can see the color changes now. Try to make it more dramatic on the top face. It's pretty much the exact color that I was going for. Nice blue color. And uh, I've actually tried to spray the rust -Oleum directly on it now to see if I can get an instant flash coat on it. But unfortunately it just comes right off on your fingers. And it kind of ends up looking something like that. It's interesting, but it just comes right off on your hands. And it you know, doesn't work too well. It eventually kind of looks like that. So until next time.